They were blind, hot, withered, and they were waiting for something. Now, you see, we were born in sin. The Bible let us know in, that we were conceived in our mother's womb. We were born in sin, shaped in iniquity, and in sin did our mothers conceive us. So we were born sick, in other words, because of the fall of Adam. You know all about Adam, praise God. And it's just that that little three-letter word, as we talk about a lot of times, sin. No, too many people like to talk about sin. We rather talk about everything else but sin. Sin is the problem with the world today because the Bible let us know that even the uh, wedges of sin, yeah, the very, very wedges of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So we see from the beginning, uh, because of Adam, uh, the world was put in sin. All the people that were born after we were born in a world of sin. Sometimes, as I was saying, we don't realize. People today, they don't realize that uh, we are in sin. And some don't even believe that in sin, that they are in sin. Some people don't even, not even concerned about. But this is something sin has to be dealt with. You see, it's, it's not going to go away. Sin not going to go away. So that's why Jesus had to come down. And the Bible let us know through 42 generations because of the sins of the world, because man had disobeyed God and he had fallen into a state and something had to die. Some blood had to be shedded for the sins of, of the whole wide world. You see, Adam... He put us in sin, and when we went in sin, it, it didn't cost no sacrifice. There was no suffering. Adam didn't have to suffer to put us in sin. But when we look at Jesus, the second man, Adam, he had to go through some suffering to get us out of sin. So that's why the Bible tells us to take up your cross and follow him. Because, you see, we're going to have to suffer. One Writer said, uh, songwriter said, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all in the world go free? Amen. There's a cross for you. You may not realize it. We can ignore it, just like many times I did uh, in time past. We can ignore it all we want to, but it's still there. Amen. You can't get away. Uh, there's no getting away. Sometimes, amen, people commit suicide, they can't stand the pressures of life. Uh, as I was saying, this is a sick world and we need a savior. And people commit suicide just to get away, to get out of here sometime. But that's not the way out, amen. You see, I believe there are gonna come a time, uh, uh, the Bible let us know that every man going to be, uh, gonna have to face the judgment seat. Uh, so, when we look into God's word, we see here today concerning about here in Jerusalem. It tells us John was speaking concerning about how the Jesus had went there to Jerusalem. And, and there in Jerusalem, there was a pool there. And at a certain season of time, a certain season of time. See, there's a time for everything the Bible let us know. You see, a man can't move until his time. Amen. But the Bible said, today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Uh, we don't want to be like Israel. The children of Israel, uh, they harden their hearts. But as we see here today, we are talking this evening concerning about a healer. There's many sick people today. There are some people that are sick naturally, some that are sick physically, and some that are sick mentally, and so on. So, so much sickness in the land. Amen. You might not be well this evening. I know 
there's somebody under the sound of my voice, man, you're not feeling well, amen, praise God. Sometimes I have pains, amen, in my body, praise God, we all have pains, and we, it, it tells us something, you see, it telling you something that, yeah, that you don't have too much longer, amen, praise God. Uh, but you see, we have a healer today. Uh, and as we begin to look here, these men, uh, when they were laid at this pool, I can imagine in my mind that the Bible said it was a great multitude of people that were, uh, they were lame and they were halted, withered, amen, paralyzed and so on. But it speaks here, and they were waiting for the troubling of the water. Amen. That's another message in itself. Trouble water. Amen. For the angel at a certain time, the Bible said, came and stirred up the water. The water was troubled. And some way or another, they had found out. Somebody, amen, found out that once the water was troubled and they stepped into the water, that they were made whole. Amen. You, I imagine to myself if there was a pond around here somewhere in Danville and every time the pond, the water was stirred up, uh, trouble. And if uh, you knew that if I stepped in that water, I would be made whole. Uh, amen. The hospital wouldn't have too many people there. They would all be hanging around that pool uh, waiting for the trouble of the water. Amen. You see, we don't like to be sick. Don't nobody like to be sick. Amen. But I want to let you know, amen, as we go through this word of God, we all born sick. Amen. We're born in sin. That's the sickness of sickness. Amen. Ah, praise God. Amen. Uh, to, to be in sin. Amen. To be sick in sin. Amen. See, we were, uh, we were all born, as I say, we were born blind. Amen dead amen i believe but the lord have quickened some of us amen praise god uh, so this is the the worst worst sickness we can have amen on us uh is to be in sin and what make it so bad is people uh, they have gotten used to being in sin seem like amen so many don't want to get rid of their sins i know how it is praise god uh, for i was the same way amen you know uh, doing my thing, amen, trying to please uh, the flesh and wasn't doing anything because you can't please this flesh. See, you, the more that you give your flesh, the more it's going to call for. Amen, praise God. Uh, but as I was saying here, we're in a sick world. We're in a sick world. Uh, people doing everything now. Amen. You're not saved nowhere. They trying to make it safe. Amen. Heard them talking about it today, praise God. But uh, our only safe, amen, is in Christ, amen. He is the one, I believe. The Bible let us know that uh, he have a, a camp of angels that's camped around about us, amen. It's our protection. Uh, but they're seeking, amen, to be safe, amen, praise God. But you see, they don't realize, amen, where the safety comes from. Uh, they reject the Lord. Amen. Praise God. But we need to turn back uh, to the Lord. And as we see, as we go on down in our lesson this evening, just talking to you, amen, while you in the rain, amen, or sitting in your home, amen, praise God. That was a certain man uh, out of all these people. The Bible speaks of this certain man that was there and his condition, he had been in that condition that he had for 38 long years. That's a long time, amen, uh, uh, to be in sin, amen. Some of us, uh, you're going on up there in age, amen. You uh, done passed the 50 mark, uh, and you're still sick in sin. You're walking around, you don't have pains maybe, amen, but uh, you're still sick. Amen. Praise God, because we were born in sin. Amen. Praise God. So now, amen, is getting the time, amen, for us to make a change. But this man, as I was saying, 
He was sick 38 long years, a long time longer than the woman that had her issue of blood for 12 long years. Amen. But when we look at 38 years, how old are you this evening? Amen. I know somebody around that age. Ah, praise God. Amen. 38 long years. Uh, you've been in sin. You haven't repented yet of your sins. Amen. Somebody older than that. Amen. Walking around 50, 60, 70, 80. Ah, uh, going up there a little higher. Uh, 90 years old. Amen. Haven't repented of your sins. Amen. Ah, uh, praise God. As I said before, the Bible said that the wedges of sin is death, amen. Uh, but the gift of God is eternal life, amen. Time to repent, amen. Uh, because see, there's a healer uh, that have came on scene. Uh, we find here that this man, uh, he was sick, amen, all these many years. Somebody uh, brought him there and they laid him. But I was looking at this, and as I was studying this, I find out that they brought him there. That was good, amen, but they left him there. Uh, they didn't stay around long enough for the water to be troubled and then help him in, amen. They just brought him there and left him there. A lot of times, people will do you that way. You find people say, well, I didn't help you all I can help you. I can't help you no more, uh, and they dump you. They leave you, amen, praise God. But this man was there uh, for all these many years. They had brought him there. But on this occasion, amen, Jesus came and saw him. Ah, the healer walked up on scene, praise God. Uh, now, say he had, Jesus knew that this man had been there, amen, a long time. And, but he just said a few words to him. He said, will thou be made whole? Ah, this is what the Lord is saying this evening. Will thou be made whole? And we find out that the man didn't say yes. Or he didn't say no. Uh, but he began to tell. Well, at first of all, he didn't recognize who Jesus was. He said unto him, the sick man says, Sir, I have no man. Uh, when the water is trouble uh, to put me into the pool. Uh, but while I am coming. See, another step is down before me. Amen. You see, now, uh, I believe the songwriter said, there's room at the cross. Amen. There's room at the cross for all that wants to come now. Uh, millions have come. Amen. Praise God. Uh, there are many people that have been saved. Amen. Many people today throughout the land, even in foreign countries. Amen. They have I came to the Lord. Many people have uh, repented of their sins uh, and received uh, the baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of their sins. And I have waited on God until he had filled them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. But they, even though there are many that have already came, uh, when you think about it, uh, Amen. Said there is still room. Ah, it's still room for one more. Praise God. Ah, you can be that one more. See, after you come, there's still room for one more. And then after the other one come, praise God. Ah, there's still room. Amen. For one more. Ah, but we find here the man began to say, say every time I tried to make my way. Ah, you see, he was crippled. Praise God. Uh, begin to feel God up in here now. Uh, amen. He was crippled. Amen. He could not walk. Amen. So many men today, uh, you got two good legs, but you're crippled. Praise God. Uh, you got good eyesight, but you're blind. Praise God. Uh, amen. But I see this man. He was, uh, he said, every time I try to step in, somebody else, uh, uh, in other words, that songwriter said, beat me to the punch. Uh, Hey man, every time I try to struggle, hey man, ah, and get into the pool, hey man, somebody get in my way, praise God. Ah, uh, I wonder what excuse you are using today, ah, uh, hey man, praise God, when the Lord is calling you, what excuse are you using? Ah, uh, uh, Jesus just asked this man, ah, uh, uh, he just asked him one question, said, "Will thou be made whole?" Ah, uh, but this man began to give an excuse here. Uh, Amen. Praise God. But I believe Jesus just said to the man, uh, 
Uh, I say, arise, take up your bed and walk. Uh, and I believe the word of God said immediately, uh, uh, this man was made whole. God wants to make you whole this evening. Uh, praise God. Uh, but all you got to do is obey the Lord. Uh, amen. Whatever God say, amen, we ought to find ourselves doing it. Uh, amen. You see, God, amen, just said to the man, uh, uh, take up your bed here, amen, and walk. Uh, and this man took up his bed and began to walk, amen. Why? Because, uh, amen, the healer has spoken to him, uh, amen. We're sick today, as I was saying, uh, amen. You're walking around, amen. Your legs, nothing wrong with your legs, uh, amen, but you're stumbling over everything. You can't even, uh, amen, get a hold on to God's word, uh, Amen. The devil is fooling our minds. Huh? Amen. Telling us, amen, we don't have to do that. Huh? Amen. Telling you, you don't have to do this. Praise God. Huh? Amen. But we find that it's in God's word. Huh? Amen. We must find ourselves doing what God have. Huh? Amen. Left old record for you and I to do. Praise God. Huh? Amen. Will you be made whole? Huh? Amen. Why keep going around in your sins? Huh? Amen. Knowing that the wages of sin is death. Huh? Amen. I have to keep repeating that scripture because, huh? amen, somebody have forgotten all about it. Huh? Amen. Maybe somebody not concerned about it. Huh? Amen. But I want to remind you this evening, huh? amen, that the Bible let us know huh? uh, that the very wedges of sin, huh? amen, that's a pay for it. Huh? Amen. You might be doing something now huh? and think you are getting away with it. Huh? I haven't nobody caught up with you yet. Huh? Amen. Praise God. But one day, huh? amen, we're going to have to stand before the judgment seat. Huh? Amen. And give an account to every deed that we have done. Huh? Amen. That's why, praise God. Huh? Amen. The Bible let us know. Huh? Amen. The day that you hear my voice, huh? say, harden not your heart. Huh? Amen. As they did in the day in the wilderness. Huh? Amen. You see, God had brought Israel up out of Egypt. Huh? Amen. Into a land of promise. Praise God. Amen. And he wants to do the same thing for you and I. Praise God. Amen. God has something for you and I today. Amen. And he's saying to you, amen, will you be made whole? Amen. Will you come on out of your sins? Amen. A healer is here today. Amen. He's calling us. Amen. From the rising of the sun. Amen. Until the going down thereof. And we just thank you. Praise God. Amen. I believe my time is going around the corner. But we just want to make, uh, say to you, may heaven ever smile upon you. And God bless you until next time. In Jesus' name, God bless you.